Dorothy with the Popo Backyard Farm. Excuse my fan, it's blowing up in the air there, but I have decided that I love to crochet and knit and all that stuff. So I said, hey, why don't I make all of my own linen? And uh, just for kicks, it'd kind of be a fun project. So that's what I've been doing. I don't have all the linen, linen that I made. I only have a few that we haven't used yet, but I want to show you what I have been doing. This is all cotton yarn, and this here is just knitted with like a granny square around the end. So this is one design. So this is something you can do for your family if you want to make your own linen. And uh, these are washcloths. And then I decided to make a series, and I'm going to make some hand towels, two of these. And this is going to be um, washcloths, hand towels, and that type of thing. So I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to make bath towels, but I may, depending on how uh, my husband likes that. But anyway, this is uh, one of the washcloths. It's knitted with some granny square double crocheted on the border. Then here is the star stitch, which is the knitted stitch with crocheted around the edge. All the same yarn, so it's kind of like a, like um, they go together, so it'll look really pretty when it's all done. This is pretty much a straight, straight granny square with a little ruffle on the edge just to give it some change. And the nice thing about these, too, is if I decide to, you know, I, I need a quick doily, I can always use one of these, too, in a pinch. And here's another one, which I also used uh, some of, what well, wasn't that yarn actually, it was another blue. It just knitted with this on the border. I have a lot of this blue too, so I'm going to be doing some of that. And uh, here is a granny, or not a granny, I'm sorry, a zigzag stitch, which I did five up, five down. What, what it is basically is you double crochet five up, three at the top, skip two at the bottom, five, three, double crochet and one stitch at the top, five down, skip two stitches, and on and on it goes. And then I just made a border around this too. So I thought once it's all done, because we are, you know, doing some work here, Clay's going to be putting in a, some new bathroom things, hopefully. And uh, so making some new linens for the bathroom. So it's someone that comes over, it'll look kind of pretty. I think once it's all done, put in a pretty little basket or something. And uh, when they get too ratty for the bathroom, they will turn into the kitchen, which I'm also making linen for the kitchen, but you know, for those scrubbing pans and stuff. And when they get too ratty for that, <laughs> I can use them to clean the bathroom and clean the house. And when they get too ready for that, I can either wash them and use them for stuffing for pillows and other projects, or I can toss them. <laughs> so they have a life, either cleaning rags at the end of their day or bathroom scrubbies until they have seen their day. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this project. Hope it gave you some ideas for what you can do in your home. So if you're addicted to crocheting and knitting and all that type of thing or want to learn, this is a great way to get started it's not a real big project you can, you can take it with you and here's another thought on these too say you make these little squares and you really like them what's preventing you from joining them all together and making even an afghan so you know it's a great way to you know pick up new stitches learn some new product projects they don't all have to be the same size which is why this is a great fun thing for people that just want a quick project and don't want to like kind of like a no-brainer you just want to work on something and get something done every day. So I try to actually do a dishcloth a day is what I try to do. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I get other things, but for the most part, I pretty much make it. I'm a fast knitter and crocheter, so, but, um, you know, it's my downtime. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.